What's up guys, I'm HD and I'm sitting here with Kai and uh, we're gonna just discuss a couple of things. So Kai is the manager here at Outlaw uh, Pyrotechnics. This is uh, Kai's first year here with uh, Outlaw Pyrotechnics and uh, we're just gonna get into the conversation. Uh, so sit back and enjoy guys. All right guys, so um, you know, one question that I really wanted to get into was um, what was the toughest part of the year, of this fireworks season? Um, the toughest part of the season for us here was the unknown. <laughs> not knowing what to expect, <clears throat> um, not knowing what the customer's expectations were, not knowing what the product mix was, and uh, ju just not knowing. That was tough. And then obviously uh, the inventory shortage uh, kind of hit us at the end, and we weren't fully expecting it to be as, as tough as it was. I noticed uh, the, the times that I did come, you guys got uh, trucks in right away, because I remember the first time I came, um, you guys were low on stock. So the other guy told me if I can come back. Right. And I was like, okay, I'll come back around five o'clock. We ended up coming back around seven or eight. I right. Think. And then you guys were just fully stocked. And, I mean, it looked beautiful on, on, on cameras. So yeah. It was, it was really nice. Um, how often does that happen? Do you guys sell out of stuff and then come back? So um, we've tried to keep up with the demand. And what we've learned is that, I mean, there is, there is a large demand in the area. <laughs> so. Um, we were receiving on average either two containers or two trucks um, mixed weekly. And so we were selling out per truck in about 24 hours or so is what we learned. Uh, I think that we would have been, we would have been more ready had we not had the supply problems. It affected the whole firework industry, right? A hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, there, there are a lot of the small mom and pop kids didn't get to open this year. Okay, so this year what I noticed you guys did something different was you guys allowed uh, other like social media influencers, influencers to come in right. and record and stuff. Um, that's something you guys weren't doing in the past, right? So this is our first year here uh, and Mo, Mo is uh, he's my managing partner here. <coughs> and so Mo and I, um, when we came, we, we really wanted to make people feel welcome and we really wanted to change the culture of Outlaw Pyro. And so we wanted to make sure that everybody felt comfortable here and that we greeted people and that they felt that this is a place that they could come to, to hang out and talk fireworks. And that's really the culture that we wanted to roll out. And, and I think we've done an okay job with that. So I guess did a great job with it. Thank you. And, and the previous owner, uh, you know, he, he was very uh, admired throughout the Pyro community. Um, Dave, and, and he did a good job. We met him last year and we supplied him with his fireworks last year. Um, and, and then he, you know, unexpectedly passed uh, right at the end of the season last year. So um, it's, it's just been, you know, like I said, we're kind of thrown into it. And, and, you know, we needed to get out here and help Kelly with the place. And Kelly is his uh, widow, yeah. So were you guys prepared for that transition? Was Dave, uh, was there something that was already in mind you were? You guys were already preparing if, if, if something were to happen or the next man up type of team? No, there, there was there was no real succession plan that he had built. <clears throat> and so our, our goal was to invite as many, uh, you know, influencers yeah. as we could <clears throat> and to come in and create awareness about Outlaw uh, Pyro. And, and that's why, you know, you and, and other um, influencers have done a good job of creating awareness because without you guys, honestly, I mean, you know, People, it, it's a slow burn, and people are, are starting to hear our name out there, yeah. uh, little by little. But really, um, you know, it, it's it's been we've gotten a really good head start because of, of uh, you know the social media and, and influencers. Yeah, and, and that's only going to increase. I mean, uh, really, like just like we were talking about earlier, the, the comparison videos they really uh, you know they're they're going to keep moving into it. It's going to it's going to make a big difference, especially uh, we're letting people know now. Uh, of what's to come next year. Like, yeah. So a lot of people that didn't know about how long is what I'm trying to say. Sure. Next year they're going to be ready to come to how long first. And, I, and we appreciate that. We really do. Um, we know that there are, are other options in town and, and they're bigger and more established. But yeah, we, we'd like for people to come give us a try. And we really believe in, in the product that we have. The owner of, of the Warrior brand, which really is, you know, uh, the, the brand that, that, it's our main brand. Yeah. <clears throat> He's a pyro at heart. He just liked fireworks that much, and he wanted to figure out how to get them cheaper. And, you know, now yeah. he's now he's got his own brand. And he's been building it for almost 15 years now. So that's awesome. Yeah, he, he's just a pyro at heart, and so he won't sell anything that he wouldn't like. I mean, our fountains. What are they? I'm not a fountain guy. I was telling Chelsea, I'm, I'm, I'm telling my wife, I'm, yeah. I'm not a fountain guy at all. And the fountains you guys gave me, I was like, at first I was like, dude, I'm just I'm not into fountains. Yeah. I was like, how am I gonna get excited about this? Me too. Yeah. And, 
dude, honestly, well, I let him off with my voice. And, and uh, we just had such an amazing time. And I, I was really impressed by your guys' time. It's a show. I mean, our comments yeah. are a show. And I think, I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find anybody who has the, the, the variety and selection of talents that we have yeah. and with the performance and the consistent performance. Yeah. So, I mean, we've got, you know, I Love USA, Heavy Metal, Magnum. I mean, there, there's some really good yeah, 500 the gram, everything but the that kitchen sink. <clears throat> it's a show. Yeah. It's a show. I basically went to uh, a different fireworks store and I picked up like three cases of uh, Excaliburs. And then uh, someone commented on one of my videos like, you should have gone to Outlaw. Okay. Outlaw had flowers uh, and the fighting shells. Or I think it was either the same price or cheaper. I, I got them for uh, 190 or 210 something like that. Okay, yeah, that was probably a little bit like early on. So the growlers would be comparable to like our, our Cobra Kai. And so <coughs> our Cobra Kai is really our flagship uh, shell. So it's our flagship private shell. We also have an assassin, which is our foreign shell. Yeah, and that, and that is something that we, you know, once we get it in stock, we'd love to have you come shoot it. We haven't seen those this season at all. Um, so just whatever was left over from last year, which wasn't much uh, carried over. But really, I mean, we've gone through a lot of Cobra Kai and Unabomber, which are our, our flagship. Uh, Unabomber as well? Yep. Okay, okay. It was interesting because at the beginning of this season, in April, we were selling Cobra Kai uh, kits, or, 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 you know, a 424 yeah, yeah. Uh, for 185 yeah. And they went all the way up, you know, to $250 yeah. to $260 yeah. uh, per case, depending on quantity. Yeah. Um, and so they, they shot, you know, they shot up pretty high, pretty fast. And they still sold. Yeah they, yeah, they still sold because, it, I mean, I think that we're still pretty competitive in the market. I'm not sure what our competitors are doing, and I'm not sure what their price. We do hear rumblings. Um, some are some are less expensive, and some are higher. You know, and I'm not too big of a fan of that, uh, that tier system. Yeah. I, I know that uh, some source care do that here, and uh, I think that even fans uh, are doing it too. Okay. Where, like, a... Uh, they have like a buy one game thirty percent off. Oh right. But then they do buy one game free and you spend over four hundred and fifty dollars. Ah, uh, I see. Which is uh, you know, it just it just complicates the whole process of of, uh, of ordering. I just feel like if you have the best price, that, that's good enough, right? And that, that's what we try to do. We we try to just roll out our best price, and I mean, and quite frankly, I mean, who knows? We might come up with a tier system yeah, at some yeah. point. We just haven't we just haven't explored it yeah. enough. Uh, Prop has lived up to, to being everything everyone said it was and more. Yeah. So I mean, it's been wonderful, and everybody's been really welcoming from the customers to you know even to the other proprietors in, in town. Everybody's been pretty pretty welcoming to us. I, I was honestly really excited when I found you guys because uh, I mean I. Like I said, I, I love fireworks. Like I, I know I work close with some stores uh, than others, but um, I love fireworks in general. And uh, yeah, I, I try to do a video for each fireworks store, and then I will try to do one all together of all the all the, all the stores I go to. Yeah, just to show that you know it's better for us to support all the stores because if we want all the products here on the market, we gotta support all the stores. Well, we appreciate that. Like we we really appreciate that because again, it just goes back to if nobody knows we're here, then we don't have customers. So we don't want to rule the world. We just want a little piece of the pie. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with that, right? Everyone can be winning. Dude. Sure. Everyone can be winning. Yeah. What were your best-selling products this year um, since you took over as uh, in the manager position? Sure. Um, so we learned that our best-selling products by far were going to be our our artillery. You know, the four twenty fours, and then the family packs. Um, we've created some family packs for this market. We created the pandemic pack, and we created the Go Stupid, and those have been really good. I mean, there's a lot of uh, aerials in there, uh, and a lot of products that people, I believe, are are happy with, and they're good good packs. Uh, and there's a lot of value. I don't know if I could compare them to anything else out there, uh, just because I think they are unique in the way that they're set up. Do they have a uh, Roman candle? Roman candles, absolutely. Bottle rockets. Cakes, bottle rockets, Roman candles, <coughs> artilleries, reloadables, uh, and a, a few novelties, not many novelties, uh, firecrackers. And they, they have all of those in, in the packs. Yeah. I tried uh, I tried your mini vendor, and I, I was really, we, we had so much fun with that. Dude. I'm glad that you tried it. Yeah, it was a, well, you know, like my, my channel is more family friendly. Right. So when we took the kids out here, it, it was perfect because there was some small stuff. Uh, right. And then they have the nice aerials that the adults like. So I think that you have those those two that I've got sitting on the table uh, in there. And, and that's really what's happening right now is we're, we're creating an outlaw brand. Yeah. 
it's based on warrior quality, but it's an outlaw brand and it's for this market. And and we're trying to be market sensitive and we're trying to show people that we understand, you know, who we are but who our customer is as well. And so we're trying to make sure that we bring them the products that, that they want that they want, you know. Our our cakes are really good. Um, you know, we've got some wonderful five hundred gram cakes, even our two hundred gram cakes, which But I I did get to try your um I believe it was called the Urban Mix set. Okay, yeah. And dude, that, you know, I'm glad you guys tried those. We demoed them too. We uh we put them on the video and it was uh, oh, good. Yeah, we, we were really impressed by them. We right. decided we didn't want to compare those. Uh, we just wanted to shoot them and kind of get a feel for the quality. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's a great idea. Yeah. And like I said, um, I, I think that the uh, the owner really focuses on quality. Yeah. So strong quality. I don't think he's sitting there looking at the bottom line as hard as he's looking at the quality of the product, and, and he's unique in that way. Um, he, he is a business guy, but you know, he, he really, he really wants to make sure that his brand is representative of what he expects as a buyer. Yeah, yeah, no, and uh, that, that's really respectful, and I think that that's how it should be. First, the love, you know, and then everything else will come from it. Yeah. That some that sometimes businesses are developed that way. You kind of just like you love something, and now it, you know you're making something out of yeah. you know. What do they say? If you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Yeah, right? exactly. So <laughs> I, I think that that's kind of what's happening. But yeah, I mean we we, we have a lot of fun. So uh, what are some uh, some products you guys are looking to bring in uh, next year? Is there any any hints you want to drop or? Sure. Yeah. Um, so again, uh, we we'd like for people to watch out for the actual Outlaw brand and, and the branding of, of this place and Outlaw Fireworks. Um, we have uh, a, an extra extra hot Cheetos pack that's coming out. It's really cool. Um, you know, everybody loves the, the, the loves flame and hot. Everybody yeah. loves the flame and hot. <laughs> so we're rolling. Rolling a five-inch shell. Um, we do have our six-inch shells, the the mariachi, the demigod, and the skid row. Those will continue to be pumped out, and we hope that people, you know, can like them and try them. What are um, what are some some plans you guys have for the future? Um, I know you guys did do uh, some renovations. So what's uh, what what do you guys see coming up uh, as far as uh, renovations? Well, to, to any of the customers who have had the wonderful Outlaw Pyro experience, you've uh, noticed that it's, you know, we're probably having the, one of the worst heat waves that, that we've ever seen, you know, in, in the western United States. Um, and we're outside, and, you know, our, our, our storage units are outside, and our showroom is outside. Um, we recently put up, uh, you know, just, just some shade, a, a structure to give us some shade. Um, but it, it's definitely helpful, but we actually drew our plans to, to start to build an actual store with air conditioning. <laughs> you know, um, we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're planning on building an actual uh, store right here. Um, you know, we've thought long and hard, and, and the goal is to, to really honor, you know, the, the previous owner and to, to go with the plans that he'd had, which is to develop here on site and to create. We're not going to create like a, a, a mega store. We're not, you know, yeah. nothing like that. But we are going to create um, some retail space um, and most importantly, some air conditioning space so our customers can be a little more comfortable while walking around. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, and uh, you know what? It, it, it's great. You know, the like other stores you walk into, and you know, there's you get AC and you feel right. comfortable. But it's important. You know, what's what's honestly most important is you know uh, being relational, the hospitality you guys sure. do, okay. you know, the prices too, like. And obviously, you know, a uh, customer will walk away happy if they feel like they got a good deal. Yeah. You know, so, you know, uh, and then friendly faces, it's always, always love. You know? So I think that what you guys are doing, you know, uh, with or without the renovations, you know, what you guys are doing now is just awesome. That's and it's, awesome. It's respectable. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, we've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed getting to know uh, you and, and several other people this year. It's been a, it's been a great year. Uh, and, and we've created a lot of relationships, and we hope to continue that trend. Oh yeah, creating relationships and then and then fostering the ones that we have created. So that's yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Awesome. All right, man. Well, thank you for everything. Of course. Bye.